research basically started about four years ago when uh, we found a plant that uh, I believe was more suitable and adaptable to Australian conditions from an environmental perspective and uh, once we started getting interested in it, it had a lot of other benefits as well. So, um, Although initially we didn't, <clears throat> we didn't look at uh, ethanol production because four or five years ago it wasn't really on the agenda. But uh, since we started playing with this plant, uh, agave, um, it uh, is now, you know, sort of the sugars anyway and alternatives to, um, alternate crops to cane and corn are being looked at extensively for ethanol production and this is where this plant comes in. The first step is just at a fairly uh, robust macro level to, to see what type of growth rate we can achieve at various locations. We've got plants that are up to three years old um, that we've been growing, uh, but, but in a controlled environment. So we're looking to put those out in the field now and make an assessment of where we'll get the best growths and growth rates. Um, so it's just going to be a fairly broad uh, measurement of um, fibre and sugar and, uh, and biomass so that we can you know, determine the most likely places it will grow better and then we can fine tune it after that. You're at the same latitude as uh, where they're grown in Mexico and uh, there's a good start. Um, it's a warm climate, um, good, you know, as long as they're reasonably well drained soils. Um, they're volcanic soils in Mexico but uh, uh, again it's uh, grown in very poor areas in Mexico uh, whereas uh, here we've got agricultural soils that are much more in tune with uh, growing uh, crops at a faster rate.